Hey, kids. How you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. You know who we are? We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Now, let me take a wild guess here. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? Yeah, I, I remember. Good. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Did you have it? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburgers? Ch ch cheeseburgers. No, 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 no. Where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger? That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent, you ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. Me? I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do love the taste of a good burger. Mm. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France. No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. The metric system. Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Go right ahead. <sighs> and hit the spot. You, flock of seagulls, you know why we're here? Why don't you tell my man Vince here where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's... I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. You were saying? It's in the cupboard. No, no, the one by your knees. We have Vincent, we happy? Yeah, we happy. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't get your name. I got yours, uh, Vincent, right? But, but I, I never got your. My name. name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know. I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so fucked up with us and, and Mr. Wallace. It, 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 when we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? What's the matter? Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. 
What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck him. And my Sarah Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Brett? Yes. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. It sort of fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is he a friend of yours? Hmm? Oh, Vincent, Marvin. Marvin, Vincent. Better tell him to shut the fuck up. He's getting on my nerves. Marvin. Marvin. Marvin! I'd knock that shit off if I was you. Oh, you mother... Didn't you tell us somebody was in a bathroom? Slip your mind? Did you forget that someone was in there with a goddamn hand cannon? You see the size of that gun he fired at us? It was bigger than him. We should be fucking dead, man. I know we was lucky. No, 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 no. That shit wasn't luck. Yeah, maybe. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? I think so. That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? That's right. That's exactly what it means. God came down from heaven and stopped these motherfucking bullets. I think it's time for us to leave, Jules. Don't do that. Don't fucking blow this shit off. What just happened here was a fucking miracle. Chill, Jules. This shit happens. Wrong. Wrong. This shit doesn't just happen. Do you want to continue this theological discussion in a car or in a jailhouse with the cops? We should be fucking dead, my friend. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to fucking acknowledge it. All right, it was a miracle. Can we go now? Let's go, nigga. Come on. Is this your homework, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Look, man. Dude, it... please. Is this your homework, Larry? Just ask him about the car, man. Is this yours, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Is that your car out front? Is this your homework, Larry? We know it's his fucking homework. Where's the fucking money, you little brat? Look, Larry, have you ever heard of Vietnam? Oh, for You're entering a world Walter. of pain, son. We know that this is your homework. We know that you stole a car. And the fucking money. And the fucking money. And we know that this is your homework. I'm gonna cut your dick off, Larry. You're killing your father, Larry. All right. This is pointless. Okay. It's time for plan B. You might want to watch out that front window, Larry. Son, this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass! Language problem here. 
Little prick stonewalling me. Walter! What, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Here you go, Larry. You see what happens? You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens? This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Larry. This is what happens, Larry. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? This is what happens. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens, Larry? Do you see what happens, Larry, when you fuck a stranger in the ass? This is what happens, Larry. This is what happens, Larry. What happens, Larry? Hey, baby. What happens when you fuck a stranger? What the uh, fuck are you doing, man? Oh, Stop man. it! Hey, man. I just bought that fucking car last week. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna hey, fucking I'm kill sorry, you! Man. I just bought that fucking car last week. Come on, man. I'll kill your fucking car, no, man. No, no, hey, you. hey, that's not his head. Ah. God damn it! Oh, oh, oh fuck no, you! No. You like that? Fuck you! No. Ah. No. I'll kill your oh. fucking car, oh. man. Abigail. Abigail. What's she doing here? What are you doing here? Your dad called me. Said your next clue was here. But she's really there? <clears throat> Look, Ben. Drop her. Lose her. I want to help. Well, that's very nice, but it's kind of a bad time right now. A bad time right now? It's a bad time. <laughs> OK, I, I just flew all the way to London to offer my help. Ben, and, and what, now you say you just, you don't need it. You're the one who's making a scene right now. I, I'm not making a scene right now. No, we want to make a scene. Well, then fine! If that's what you want, then let's have it out right now! Ah, uh, so subtle. Well, let me guess! It's the wrong time! It's the wrong place! I'm wrong again! Wrong about us! Wrong about Thomas Gates! Wrong that you'd like the Queen Anne chair! You're wrong to assume I'd like the chair. You see? You see, everybody, listen to this. This is more interesting than that. She thinks that even when I'm right, I'm wrong. Isn't that right? Abigail, just because I answer a question quickly doesn't make it wrong. Not if the right answer is something we need to figure out together. As a couple, that's what couples do. Sure. Then... You and your missus take it outside. Oh, now look what you've done. You brought the little bobbies down on us. You take the missus outside. I'm staying right here. Ben! Whee! Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Been drinking, have we? Just a nip. Just popped down to the pub for a pint. Bit of all right. Going to arrest the man for that. Going to detain a blighter for enjoying his whiskey. It's all right, that's enough, sir. Beggars and mash. Sir? Bubbles and squeak. What? Smoke your pie. Sir? Haggers! That's it. Dismount the banister. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Here they are, standing in a row. Small one, big one, stop this big one! That was brilliant. What's wrong with these rhymes? Nothing. You should try it sometime, Ben. Oh, so what are you saying? You're saying that I'm never right? I did not say that. So I'm wrong again. Now, see, there you are correct. Oh, capital. Top You know what? Your mother told me about you. And I always said that never say you will say it. Girl, in here, please. Step inside, madam. Just make a list. Because every time we go on the head, we're not right. Whether it's right or wrong. You two lovebirds stay put, right? No, 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 no. You know. Don't leave me Great. Wow. He's in a meeting. Yeah, I know. In about two seconds, with the pecker. I'm gonna rip your fucking tits off. You wanna talk about trouble? That's trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you need, Peck? I'm more like, what do you need, Les? Glasses? What? So you can read the Tropic Thunder contract that guarantees my client, Tug Speedman, some form of digital video recorder on location? Huh? Look, Fuckstick, I'm incredibly busy, so why don't you get the hell out of here before I snap your dick off and jam it into your ass? No, not you, Helen. But I will rip your tits off if you don't give me those theaters. Perfect. Hey, Tugger Nuts, I've got you on speakerphone. I'm standing here with Les Grossman, and he is dying to tell you why he has apparently wiped his ass with the TiVo claws from your contract. 
We are flaming dragons. Speedman is with us now. For 50 million, you will get him back. Now you're gonna get those. Who, who is this? And how'd you get this phone? We are flaming dragon. Simple Jack belongs to us now. I'm, I can't believe I'm still having this conversation. Oh, he does, does he? Why do you even work for hey, let me tell you something, shitbird. I've never even heard of your little agency. But if you think you can poach my client, fifty million dollar, or you no see Simple Jack again because we kill him. This is the last horseman. Who is this? This is Flaming Dragon. Oh, okay, Flaming Dragon, fuckface. First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face. Now I don't know what kind of Pan Pacific bullshit power play you're trying to pull here, but Asia Jack is my territory. So whatever you're thinking, you better think again. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to head down there, and I will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you. You're gonna have to call the fucking United Nations and get a fucking binding resolution to keep me from fucking destroying you. I am talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will fuck you up. Did you uh, find out who that was? We are flaming dragons. Now give me a fight. Flaming Dragons, a uh, heroin manufacturer responsible for an eighth of the drug trade in Asia. Huge profit margin. Guys! Would somebody please let me know what the game plan is? Tech, we have it handled. Please don't interrupt. Everything's under control. I, I got it. Got it. Les Grossman. We not get money yet. Price now 100 million. You pay now, or tomorrow Simple Jack die. Great. Uh, let me get this down. 100 million. Oh, wait. I got a better idea. Instead of 100 million, how about I send you a hobo's dick cheese? Then you kill him. Do your thing. Skin the fucking bastard. Go to town, man. Go to town. No. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. No, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, are you insane? I think I could have done that. No, I thought it was good. They're gonna kill him. And we'll weep for him in the press. Set up a scholarship in his name. Eventually, and I'm talking way, way down the road, we file an insurance claim, preferably before the end of the fiscal year. Actually, the claim alone would net us more than we would lose. You can't be serious. Let's face it. The kids aren't dressing up as scorcher for poor them anymore. Speedman is a dying star, a white dwarf heading for a black hole. That's physics. It's inevitable. We've been handed an incredible opportunity here, Peck. The universe is talking to us right now. You just gotta listen. See, this is the good part, Pecker. It's when job gets fun. Yeah. Ask. You play ball, we play ball. I know you want the goodies. Welcome to the goodie room. You paying attention? Cause I'm talking G5 for the picker. That's how you're gonna roll. No more frequent fly bitch miles from my boy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Player. Player. Big dick player. Swinging past your knees. Big dick baby. Yep. Or you can grow a conscience in the next five minutes and see where that takes you. Now, let me get this straight. You want me to let my client of 15 years, one of my best friends, die in the jungle alone for some money in a G5? Yes.
A G5 airplane. Yes. And lots of money. Play. Flip it, rub it down. Oh. gonna do the turkey yeah dad wants ambrosia so i guess we gotta get those miniature marshmallows and i'll do the crescent rolls and you do the cranberry you know i can't cook <laughs> <clears throat> yeah well i'll see you tomorrow then gobble gobble Welcome to Marathon. May I help you? Yes. How may I help you? You can start by wiping that fucking dumbass smile off your rosy fucking cheeks. Then you can give me a fucking automobile, a fucking Datsun, a fucking Toyota, a fucking Mustang, a fucking Buick, four fucking wheels and a seat. I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me. And I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of fucking nowhere with fucking keys to a fucking car that isn't fucking there. And I really didn't care to fucking walk down a fucking highway and across a fucking runway to get back here to have you smile at my fucking face. I want a fucking car right fucking now. Yeah, I see your rental agreement. I threw it away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, what? You're fucked. <laughs> 